Number 12, two horizontal forces F1 and F2 act on a 4 kg disc that slides over frictionless ice, on which an X-Y coordinate system is laid out. Force F1 is in the positive direction of the x-axis and has magnitude of 7 newtons. Force 2 has a magnitude of 9 newtons. This figure over here gives the x-component vx of the velocity of the disk as a function of time t during the sliding. What is the angle between the constant directions of forces F1 and F2? So let's draw our coordinate system over here. So this should be x and this should be y. So we know that F1 points in the positive x direction. So this is F1. And let's say that F2 is something like this with an angle theta and we don't know theta. But you could draw F2 to any direction that you wanted. That's just a generic angle over here. So that's what we have. And we have to find this angle theta over here. So let's look to this graph over here. We have the velocity in the x direction in function of time. And we can notice that this is a straight line over here. So the, the velocity is a first degree equation. So we know that the acceleration is constant, at least in the x direction. So we can calculate the acceleration in the x direction by using delta v x over delta t. So let's take this point over here and this point over here. So from those points the velocity changed from minus 4 to 5. So delta v in this case it's 9 plus 9 and it passes 3 seconds, right? So the acceleration is 3 meters per square second. So the acceleration in the x direction is 3 meters per square second. We know that the sum of the forces in the x direction, this is the Newton's second law, but only analyzing the x-axis, is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. So we can try to find the angle theta over here by solving this equation. So we have to sum F1. Uh, x, the x component of F1 plus the x component of F2 and this is equal mass times AX. The x component of F1 is F1 itself because it points to the x direction. So this is F1. The x component of F2 is F2 times the cosine of the angle and this is equal to mass times acceleration. We know everything in this equation except the angle, so we can solve this equation for the angle, and that's pretty much it. So the cosine of the angle is mass times acceleration in the x direction minus F1 over F2. So the angle is the inverse function of the cosine of m times ax minus F1 over F2 and all we have to do is replace the letters by the numbers so the angle is the inverse function of the cosine the mass is 4 kilograms the acceleration in the x direction is 3 F1 is 7 and F2 is 9 and this gives us let's see this gives us the angle which is 56 degrees and that's the answer of this exercise.